Hey, what's up guys? Joker here and I hope you're all doing well. Today we are going to be taking a look at a couple of AMD news stories. The first concerning Ryzen CPUs and a fix for Destiny 2, which has been having issues launching ever since, well, Ryzen 3000 series launched earlier this month. And also we've got some information on some possible upcoming 7 nanometer Navi GPUs that are going to be a little bit higher end. So we're going to get fired into all of the news stories and I'd like to apologize in case you were wondering why you're not seeing my beautiful face here in this video. Uh, I had to take my camera lens into the shop because there was a slight crack in the lens, so I'm um, getting that taken care of, but I didn't want to push back content any further than I already have, so we're going to get fired into all the news topics here today. But first, today's video is brought to you by LevelGo.com, where you could save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro for under $16, Microsoft Office 2019 for $80, and Microsoft Office 2016 for under $40. And if you use my coupon codes at checkout, you can save an additional 22% off of Windows 10 Pro, or 16% off of any software you pick up over there, or now you can get 3% off of the entire website with the code PDS3 at checkout. So be sure to use these coupon codes with the links down in the description below. So first up, we will be talking about AMD Ryzen and the 3000 series of CPUs, which while it was an incredible launch, has not been without a couple of issues here or there. One main one of note that a lot of people had talked about was that they were having issues launching Destiny 2, on any of the Ryzen 3000 series CPUs, and there's going to be a fix coming for that. Another issue was with how the CPUs were reporting voltages and clock speeds as they were showing up really high, some as high as 1.45 volts or even higher than that, even just running idle at the desktop or running a small app, an application like Steam. Um, really the main issue there was that it was drawing a lot more power than it needed, even for a very small application because Ryzen wants to be able to run as fast as possible at all times. So there was a little bit of an issue there in terms of its power plans and that was resulting some false readings and what people were seeing through software, things like CPU-Z. If you were pretty much using anything other than Ryzen Master, you may have been seeing some very high voltages and temperatures as a result of that. Things like hardware info also were affected by this. So AMD has actually now pushed out a chipset driver to address some of these issues, the chipset driver is 1.07.29. It's available right now. You can download it over on the AMD website and it's available for all the Ryzen 3000 series CPUs. And AMD also made a statement based on the chipset driver, which they just pushed out. Here's what they had to say on it. They said, our analysis indicates that certain pieces of popular software, which are widely considered to be low CPU load applications, frequently made indirect, re indirect requests for the highest performance and power state from the processor. Third gen Ryzen is designed to be extremely responsive to requests for high performance, and this has led to some of the anomalous behavior observed with high voltages and clock speeds in monitoring utilities. Our solution is to adjust the AMD Ryzen balanced power plan to address these cases under light loads without changing the processor's ability to respond to sustained workloads like games and content creation. So there you have it there. It's a simple adjustment really to the balanced power plan for the AMD Ryzen 3000 series. And as I said, this is gonna be available now in the most recent chipset driver. So if you're running a Ryzen 3000 series CPU, it is highly advised that you go ahead and pick that up. And also AMD did address the issue with Destiny 2, which they um, are currently right now testing with the latest Agessa update, which will be available pretty soon uh, from your motherboard manufacturers through a BIOS update. The Agessa number that we're looking at here is 1003ABB. That is going to be the Agessa update, which should address the issues with Destiny 2. Um, it appears like right now they're actually putting it through quality assurance testing to make sure it's stable and everything like that with the motherboard manufacturers. So those should be available um, relatively soon in the near future. I'll keep you guys updated on when those do become available. Um, also, continuing along with AMD, Lisa Su actually made a little statement during a Q&A call on upcoming 7 nanometer high-end Navi GPUs. There were already some rumors circulating around recently around Navi 12, which some people have been talking about and referring to as either RX 5800 or the 5900 series GPU, which would be um, probably replacing Radeon 7, which is uh, most of you probably know now is, is a dead GPU. They have stopped producing it. It has reached its end of life uh, very shortly after it came out back in, I believe it was February. So that graphics card did not last very long at all. And I feel like it was just kind of a stop, a stop gap for AMD uh, to remain relevant in the market until Navi became available. I don't think it was really widely successful. 
And now with it reaching its end of life, you know, Navi is really kind of taking center stage here for AMD in the GPU space. And that's going to continue along here, it looks like, with some higher end Navi GPUs. When Lisa Su was asked about it, she said this, I would say they are coming. You should expect that our execution on those are on track and we have a rich 7 nanometer portfolio beyond the products that we have currently announced in the upcoming quarters. So that's all we have for now on that. We don't know exactly when that's going to be. The upcoming quarters could be um, this year. It could be early 2020. We just really don't know yet. So we'll have to wait and see on that. But it's no doubt that they are going to have some more Navi GPUs coming in the future, running off RDNA on 7 nanometer, and they'll probably be higher end spec than what we are seeing right now. And this was in direct response to a question about high-end models based on the Navi architecture. So it does appear that is what she was addressing here. Although I wouldn't rule out seeing some lower-end Navi GPU models as well. I think that's also likely that we'll see some lower-end SKUs to be maybe to come down below the $200 price point. I think everyone would love to see a full stack of Navi GPUs for the low-end, the high-end, mid-range, mid which we already have out there right now. So yeah, I'll keep you guys apprised on this as I do with all the other news topics, but I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I do appreciate you guys liking, commenting, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell so that you're ready as soon as no new content does go live here on the channel, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another video. Ta-ra.